Hampton. Hi, this is Amber with American Humane Rescue, and this is Reba. We are here today to talk about signs of dehydration in dogs and signs of potential overheating. Um, as temperatures rise a little bit around the nation, we're a little more concerned about our dogs and the potential of them overheating. Although Reba is an avid hiker, um, I do still worry about her overheating. So if we're out on a long walk or if we are out on a hike, I always make sure to bring some fresh water, our buddy bowl, and to make sure she is always properly hydrated. Do you like that? Dogs do not sweat. Uh, they actually omit heat through panting. Um, they do have some foot beds, or they do have some sweat glands in their foot beds, but that doesn't help much dissipate very much heat. So we have to make sure our dogs are properly hydrated. Um, we really worry about our dogs that are considered brachiocephalic or have the pushed in faces such as pugs, bulldogs. Uh, we worry about older dogs uh, and dogs that are a little bit overweight. Reba may or may not fall into that category. Um, but all dogs in general, even our happy, active uh, dogs that are used to going on long jogs, we always need to make sure that they're properly hydrated because heat stroke is a very serious condition um, that requires emergency treatment. So some things we can look at, obviously, if they're panting, it doesn't mean they're in distress. Um, we like to do something called a skin tent test. So basically you just take your dog, let's see if she'll cooperate here. I like to use the skin here because there's excess skin here so it doesn't show up as well. But you just take a pinch of the skin here and if it snaps right back, it's a great sign. She's not dehydrated, she's doing well, she's uh, gonna go, she's good for a while. One thing we like to do is called a skin tent test. Um, I like to use the skin on the back or here at the shoulder. They tend to have excess skin here at their neck so it's better to do it from this angle. Uh, you just take a quick pinch of their skin and release it should snap right back. If it stays up, that's a sign of dehydration. Um, depending on how long it stays up, that's usually a sign of more serious dehydration. Um, I'll show you again, just a quick snap back. So she's great, she's hydrated, um, she's ready to go. Another test we can do is a capillary test here, and a mucous membrane test. We just, be careful here if your dog's a little bit iffy around the mouth, but we can see that her gums are pink, they're moist. If I run my finger here, it's not dry. Um, if I press my thumb here, it goes white and then immediately goes back to pink. There's no, there's no lag there. I can also check her nose. Her nose is nice and wet. Her eyes are moist. If her nose was dry, if her eyes are really dry, we'd be a little concerned as well. Um, if you do notice some of these symptoms in your dog, I would definitely give them, encourage them to drink as much water as possible. If it seems to be more serious in the capillary, are noticing these signs of dehydration in your dog, I highly recommend you give them access to fresh water as quickly as possible. Um, and if it seems to be they are more in distress, absolutely take them to your emergency vet as soon as possible as heat stroke is a very, very serious condition. Thank you so much. And until next time, this is Amber with American Humane Rescue.